So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because of the length of the question. Any question that's four or more lines long, we're going to approach as, you know, approach using the strategy where instead of reading the entire passage or an entire question, we want to read one sentence at a time, stopping in between each sentence to make sure we understood what we just read. And very importantly, making sure that we write down or translate any quantitative information as we read it. So let's get started. So this question says Roberto is an insurance agent who sells two types of policies, a $50,000 policy and a $100,000 policy. So I'm going to just write that down. So we have the two policies, so policies, and those two types are 50K and 100K. The next part of the sentence or the next sentence says last month, his goal was to sell at least 57 insurance policies. Well, do we know how many of each type he sells? No. So how do I translate that sentence? I'm going to assign a variable to 50,000 and call it X. I'm going to assign a variable to 100,000 and call it Y. And usually at this point, like I kind of peek down in my answer choices so I know I'm using the right variable. So I do see X and Y in all of those answer choices. So I'm, I'm pretty confident with that. And the translation of that sentence basically says that whatever, however many $50,000 policies Roberto sells, plus however, however many $100,000 policies Roberto sells, it needs to be greater than 57, right? So it says at least 57, which actually means greater than or equal to. Now, when I peek down in my answers, I don't see a greater than or equal to symbol, um, so I'm just going to stick with the greater than. But honestly and technically, at least 57 means it could be 57 or it could be 58, 59, right? Anything greater than that. So that's the first translation. So the next sentence says, while he did not meet his goal. Oh, so that's where things get messed up. So he did not meet his goal. So what does that tell us? If he did not meet his goal, that means the number of policies he sold was less than 57. So that changes our inequality. So while he did not meet his goal, the total value of the policies he sold was over $3 million. Okay, so that means $50,000 times the number of $50,000 policies he sold plus $100,000 times the number of $100,000 policies that he sold was equal to, I'm sorry, was over, which means is greater than $3 million. So $3 million. Next sentence, which of the following systems of inequalities describes X, the possible number of $50,000 policies and Y, the possible number of $100,000 policies that Roberto sold last month? So the beauty of using this translation, translate word problem strategy is that at this point, we pretty much already have our answer. We're pretty certain about it because we we wrote these inequalities based upon what we read. So now we're just looking to the answer choices to see, well, where do we find exactly what we translated? So choice A, X plus Y less than 57. So that looks good. And choice, uh, the second part of choice A, um, 50,000 X plus 100,000 Y less than 3 million. Well, that's not true. We want it to be greater than because he sold, uh, he sold was over 3 million. So answer choice A is gone. Answer choice B, looking for the same thing. X plus Y greater than 57. Well, that's not true, right? So that's not true. Choice C, uh, X plus Y is less than 57. So that's good. And greater than 3 million. Perfect. That's good. So choice C must be the correct answer. I always try to look at you know the all of the answers and choice D is wrong because we have X plus Y is greater than 57 and that's not the case. So choice C is the best answer here. Translate word problem. 